Some of the problems in practice set one are best worked with a calculator. I will demonstrate with a TI-30XA, which is a standard scientific calculator. In the first set of problems, we will be evaluating exponents and tapping into this key, the exponent key, which is visually written in base exponent form. Let's try a few from problem number five together. Four to the fourth on this calculator, I will enter four to the power of four, press equals for my answer, and that is 256. The meaning of this exponent is four times itself four times. Four times four times four times four, and we would get 256. Let's try a decimal, 5.6 cubed. I do not have a cube button on this calculator, so I will use my exponent key. 5.6 to the power of three. Press equals, and I have 175.616. The directions say to round to three decimal places, so I will keep these digits. And in part F, 10 to the sixth, I enter 10 to the power of 6. I see my answer is a 1 followed by 6 zeros. I'm going to write that with commas. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And that value is 1 million. Now let's try some roots. Problem number 6 says to evaluate each root. This, but this calculator does have a square root button. We're going to press that after we enter our number. So for the square root of 49, I enter 49 and then I press square root and it gives me my answer 7. We'll try a decimal number, 3.5. I enter my value first, 3.5, and then I press my square root key, and my answer is 1.871 when I round to the, re the requested three decimal places. And in part E, I need to take a cube root of 64. Here's how I enter this and what I say to myself while I'm doing this. I enter the number first, called the radicand, inside the root symbol first, 64. Then I say to myself, root 3. I find the root by doing second function of my exponent key and I tap into a variable root, in this case printed just above the key. So I have 64 root 3. When I press equals, I get my answer, which is 4.